What's going on, Chosen One, man? It's your big brother, Trend. You're tuned in again to another exclusive Divine video. The video that's only for the Chosen Ones and the Chosen Ones only, okay? Stay tuned to the end of this video, man. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel after this video if it resonate with you. I don't know. Maybe you're not a Chosen One. This stuff, what I'm telling you, it won't resonate with you. I don't know, okay? But if it does resonate with you, be sure to leave a comment below this video. Uh, get this video a thumbs up if I say something and it hits you right there spot on, okay? Because Spirit just gave me this, this message to be able to tell you what's going on, all right? Chosen ones, chosen one, if you're a true chosen one, it will be extremely difficult for you to befriend people and to come to, to agreement with people, okay? When you meet a lot of people, they size you up, they figure you out, they understand that you a force that cannot be reckoned reckon with. You know, people start to understand that you cannot be you cannot be manipulated. They start to understand that you're not just a typical average Joe. Um, and they they notice or they pick up on the fact that you have a really powerful spirit. All right, you have a really discern a big discerning spirit. Okay, and this is 99% of the time. You know, this is like when you meet people. Upon arrival, when you go outside, when you see people, you start talking to them, when you exchange numbers with people, um, when you try to holler at a certain chick, chicks, when you start talking to a particular man, whoever, whatever, all right? It's going to happen to you if it ain't happened to you already. Immediately after you get, after you got to know this person, for some strange reason, everything that y'all talked about or what you thought about this person, it just goes out the window because that person immediately becomes a competition to you, all right? Or at least that's what, that's how they set themselves up to be. They, they, they start competing with you. And you might be like, yo, what, like, what, like, I'm not even, I'm not even trying to be faster than you. I'm not even trying to be more flyer than you, or, you know, I'm not even trying to act like I know more than you, but according to your, when your energy, your energy field talks, okay? I don't know if you know anything about your bioelectrical energy field around your body. But even though you can't see it, it gives off messages about what you are and who you are, okay? So these people, probably spiritually, they picking up on you that you are like better, that you are a greater being, all right? You know what I'm saying? Um, and they don't know why, but you recognize it. If you're a chosen one, you always recognize it. You just recognize that your friendships turn into ba like battles with people. You know what I'm saying? If you're in a relationship with somebody, that relationship turns into like, I'm the leader, I'm in control. I'm the boss of the relationship. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's just be like, I'm not even trying to like, make myself appear like I'm doing better than you or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying so hard to, to not to, to not show out you know and you might be the type of person that if you if you showed out you could show out you could set yourself apart like literally all right but you don't do that and it's a problem when you're not trying to do that and other people are trying to do that to you because they can sense that you are special they can sense that you're the chosen one and this is what happens every time and this is why the chosen ones are always alone most of the time it's not because you don't want any friends no it's not because you don't want to be in a relationship with nobody it's not because of that you know it's, it's not because you don't want to you know be like the person that somebody can call if they got some questions about something you always available you be saying to yourself like why they won't call me I got some answers for them. But see, the reason why they won't never call you, the reason why nobody never reaches out to you, invites you to the parties, you know, the reason why she leaves your messages on green and seen and stuff like that. See, the reason why all this happening, folks, y'all, you got to open your eyes. Open your eyes and recognize who you are. All right? Because you're bigger than what you think you are if you're the true chosen one. These people automatically, upon meeting you, they go on the defensive automatically. They go on the defensive because they feel like you, they feel, your whole presence is offending them. You know what I mean? If you a chosen one, after somebody done critiqued you and studied you and did their research on you, 
to the best of their possible ability, they're going to accumulate all the reasons as to why um, they're going to accumulate. They, they're trying to, first of all, they're going to, if you're doing good with yourself, if you're a chosen one and you just got good energy, good vibes all around, the, their whole thing is to try to find as much flaws on you as they can so it'll it'll make them have a reason as to why they don't associate themselves with you. But, but, but see, deep down inside, but when they met you, they already knew you was the ish. They knew you was the one. They knew you was the one they wanted to be friends with. They already knew you was the one they could call on for some answers for. They already knew you was the one that they wanted to get married to. They already know you that one, you that guy. But see, a lot of people don't know themselves yet. Okay? They don't they haven't found the guy in themselves yet. So when they see the guy to somebody like you, they say to themselves, how can this be? How, how, how can how can how can this be? This is not possible. And see, one thing you gotta understand is that man, when you got God, like you like you really got God in you, man, I'm telling you, it ain't all like it ain't all like your life is gonna be just laid out like and everything is just gonna be all in order and you're gonna meet this person and it's gonna be so perfectly divine and it, it's usually the opposite of that. It's like you're gonna run into people that you meant to interact with and all this and stuff like that. But I'm telling you, man, it's the spirit, the spirit on you, man. If you're the chosen one, it's so powerful, man. It literally makes people go from liking you to competing with you for no reason. For no reason, bro. No reason, bro. You don't need you don't need to have no reason. It's cause your glow. It's the glow that's killing them. It's the glow on you. It's the light that's killing them. You feel me? They don't even have they they don't have no reason, no apparent reason as to why they treat you the way that they treat you. You know what I mean? You might have a friend, you might have a friend, you know what I'm saying? She she playing like she busy, like she on these vacation trips and stuff like that. Knowing y'all probably hang out on a regular basis, knowing that she chime in with you on a regular basis, right? You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling you, man, after a while, your friend, if she ain't showing her true colors, she gonna start showing her true colors, man, because it's a competition, man. It's all about competing. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't get nothing if you're the chosen one. You you go buy something new, everybody gonna notice it. Don't, don't they? You go buy something from the store tonight, today. They gonna notice that it's, they know that it's new, bro. I'm telling you. It's so many, it's people that's watching you so hard that they competing with you so hard that they know what's new on you and they know what's old. They know this. They know when you're doing good. They know when you're feeling sad. They know when you got through crying. They know when you went to sleep. They know these things because I'm telling you, your life is these Decepticons entertaining. They have no life. They'll chime in, come see what you're doing, listen to a little bit of what you're talking about. They'll read some of your quotes. They'll go to your reviews and your product session to see if you're selling, if you're selling any products. This is what they do at nighttime when ain't nobody look. They looking at you. Yeah. They'll zoom into your shoes and see who, who made them. They'll study your mannerisms and your body language and they'll know whether or not you overly excited or whether or not you just excited. They know all of these attributes about you. And you might say to yourself, how do they know so much? How you know so much about me? It's because they're competing with you, bro. This is what Decepticons do. They'll come in your life. And then it's, here's the thing about it. Sometimes they'll come into your life and they'll disguise themselves like, hey, how you doing? What's up? I just want to let you know that prayer that you said, it really struck me. And uh, I was going through something that day. And uh, that day I really got, I really got saved. All the answers that I was looking for, they was in you that day. When you said that prayer, they was in you. So I just wanted to let you know, thank you so much. And you are gladly appreciated. Have a good day. This is what they do. At some point, they feel like they got to come and go to the pit stop and get some more uh, air in their tires. At some point, they got to go uh, come and gas you up a little bit. So so, so they, gonna, they don't feel bad about themselves because they jocking your whole swagger. 
They competing with you. See, this is what people do when they compete with you. It ain't no different from basketball or football teams. Before you go and play a team, what they do in the locker room before you watch the uh, go play the team? I just told the answer. You watch the team. You study the team. You see what plays they run. You see what routes they run. You see how they score their touchdowns. You see who they pass to the most. You study all this, all this film work. Why? So you, at the end of the day, you can conquer your enemy. But see, you're not even looking at them as an enemy, but they looking at you as an enemy. Don't you know you can roll up on somebody and start conversating with them and stuff, getting to know them. And after like two, five minutes, three, five minutes, 10 minutes in the conversation, right? You might be thinking, oh, this the one for me. This that dude right here. This that right here. Yeah, I like him. You know what I'm saying? You might say to yourself, bro, she is the one, but She's talking about coming over my house this weekend too. Yeah, I'm gonna make me. I'm gonna make some crab legs and, and I'm gonna pull out my best dishes for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saying that now because she making you feel good in that moment? I guarantee you, most of the time, bro, she done already built it up inside her, her, her whole mindset that you are a threat. Why? Why is you a threat? Because you just because you the chosen one, just because you're doing good with your life. Now you are a threat. Don't you know, y'all, we living in a time where good is bad and now and bad is good, y'all? That's the times we live in and now. It is completely lopsided. It is flip-sided. People are turning to bots, all right? Good is the new bad and bad is the new good. So if you're doing too good with your life, you're going to run into a... It's going to be hard for you to make friends. And that's why you be alone most of the time. If you got you on the right path, your spiritual journey is in the right track, you know, you got you got right intentions about somebody. Your energy is good. You wouldn't even hurt a mouse. You just a nice person who want to see everybody win. You just trying to succeed and you're trying to pave your way in your life. Don't you know that's the new bad? Now you got some competition. Now people are competing with you silently, silently behind closed doors. They chiming in. They tapping in. Who, 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 what he, he, he take a picture of today? Let me go see. That's how they do, bro. Let me go see. Let me, and then and then they'll take a little bit of what you got. They'll, they'll they see you don't made some new sauce. They'll dip their hand in it. They'll taste it. Oh, I like that. Let me get a little bit of the ingredients he got. They'll take a little bit of your ingredients and they'll go apply it to their meal that they about to cook with their girl, bro. Swagger jackers, Decepticons, bots, lost. Don't have a unique identity in their bones. Don't know how to be creative. Don't know how to be themselves. They only see everybody that's better than them or that's doing better than them as a threat. Somebody that's competing with them. In the world I live in, me personally, man, anybody that's doing better than me, I'm the type of person, I'm like, yo, I'm trying to holler at him, see what's up. I'm trying to get connected and network with that dude right there. But see, even when you're the chosen one and you got mindset like that, it's hard, to, it's hard to even connect with people who you that's bigger than you, that's doing better than you. Because you already know they're gonna see, they gonna see you as a threat. And they might have more than you. They might have a yacht boat, they might have a, a house on Star Island. It don't matter. If they meet the chosen one, they ain't gonna like you. And they got more than you. This girl might have a whole husband, kids, dog, mouse, or or, or otter. Fish, goldfish, in inguas. She might have everything. She, for some strange reason, she's still not gonna like you though. And you might not even have as much as she got, boo. You might not even have have it going on like she got it going on. But your anointing is just so powerful. You a threat to her. She can't let you around her for too long because she got in her mind. She got fear. She think you gonna try to take with her man, sleep with her man. She thriving off fear. Now, she has automatically become a competition to you, competitive to you. And that's when the vibes get all confused. You be like, oh, I thought we were supposed to be like buddies. I thought we were supposed to be like, you know, road dogs or something. They messed up their energy. They messed up the energy vortex that was happening between y'all. And it happened on that side over there, didn't it? Because you, you, you didn't change. You didn't change nothing about your energy. You've been, you been stepping up. You've been speaking out. You've been expressing how you feel. You've been keeping it 100% neutral. No, you know what happened? The darkness came to light. That person who you thought was going to be your friend, they started to show you their true feelings about you through their energy. Now their energy is acting all weird. 
And this is why I call people weirdos. This is when their energy start acting all weird. And then you start seeing them flake on you and stuff like that. They start acting flaky. Once upon a time, they your biggest fan. Oh, I love you. I love you, girl. You I like that dress you had on. I like your hair. You know how people say them little uh, white lie jokes. I like your shoes. I like your dress. Oh my God, you're so pretty. What is your name? Are you a model? Man, that's all hate, bro. That's all lies, bro. They just doing that. D deep down inside, you are a threat. You are a competition. Man, watch the people that be talking and complimenting you. Watch them. Them be the ones that done came out of the woodworks to try to say something because they feel so guilty because they competing with you low key and they don't want nobody to know. So they'll try to come to you to try to make you feel, they'll try to come to you and make you feel like you the chosen one. Okay, which they know you is already, but they doing all this to help them soothe their own guilt that they have about you behind closed doors because they compete with you, bro. Instead of being a wholesome friend and coming at you like real with realism, instead of all the fake stuff, they won't. They don't know how to hold the conversation with you because they feel like if they hold the conversation with you, you are gonna find it out. You are gonna find out the fakeness that they are. You are gonna detect it because they already know you smart. So they can come and get in and buy. He gonna let, he gonna buy you a little gift. He gonna buy you a little gift or whatever the case may be. He gonna buy you a little gift. Or whatever the case may be, right? All right. That gift ain't nothing but some butter. That that gift ain't nothing for some butter to go on a potato. He just gave you some butter to go on a potato just so you can taste good. You know what I'm saying? After he eats you up. If you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? He don't want you to know how he really trying to control you because he already, you know, he already know you the one. You the chosen one. But see, you not so easy that he can run and dog on you like that. That's what these Decepticons hate. They know, like I said at the beginning, you're not a type that can be manipulated. You're not nobody who they can just make Betsy. You're not the little doormat. You know what I'm saying? You're not that person who they can swindle and trindle into their own little ornament that they can hang on the tree. You know what I'm saying? You're not that easy like that. They know that you got thick skin. They know you got a mind that can actually think and you're not normal to them. That's why they compete with you. Oh, I got to compete with this boy. This, I got to compete with this dude And she a whole woman bro Ain't that sad Bless her heart Need to get her some olive oil on her forehead You got girls out here that's competing with men bro No cap What they say no cap Big ball cap Big ball cap You got women that compete with men The same The very man that she wants to be her husband the same man that she imagined herself having kids with. The same man that she imagined taking vacation trips with it is so conflicted and misconstrued. Nowadays, you got women that's competing with the very thing they desire. Ain't that sad? Oh my God, oh my God. I'm just keeping it real on a real spiel, y'all. I told y'all. If you a chosen one, this life ain't, it ain't sweet. It's a beautiful thing to be blessed. I'm telling you, bro, it's a blessing and a curse. Because so many people just can't stand you and you're not even standing there. <laughs> you don't even have anything to do with them. You're not even thinking about them. But they somewhere thinking about you because somebody fill in the blank of that answer. Comment below. They competing with you. Taking your taking your way you wear your hair, taking the way you arch your eyebrows, taking the way you growing out your hair, they everything everything competing competing competing. Then, like I say, then they go apply it and patch it on. Then they go put a little patch on their jacket. They, I got a cola mini color down the look. Where you get that patch from? Where you get that patch from? I stole it. It don't matter. Don't tell nobody. I stole it though. Damn bot. The Septicon got patches all on his jacket and think that it's his. And he rocking and it's sporting it like it's his. You don't own none of them teams on your jacket. Stop that. But see, this is what these Decepticons, this is what these Decepticons do. You know what I'm saying? This is what these Decepticons do, bro. They imitations. They like fake crab meat. They, you think it's the real deal. 
But you know the real deal from the fake crab meat. You know imitation. You know what I'm saying? They compete with you. And that's why you don't have no friends chosen one. Like, it ain't that these people, it ain't that these people didn't want to like you. They chose not to like you because they they just know it. They just know you doing good. They know you got you something to somebody different that they ain't never met before. And they just don't know how to handle you. They don't know how to handle you. Nobody never taught them the skills to handle you. You understand? They say, oh, you too headstrong. No, you just dumb. You just don't know how, you don't got no intelligence. I'm smarter than you, all right? Oh, you need to stop thinking so much. You thinking too deep, why? Cause you shallow, cause you shallow, huh? You, you shallow, huh? These people, that's how they do. They compete with you, chosen one. And you be like, man, I ain't even trying to even trying to get into that battle. I ain't even, bro. I done had guys like that in my life that I done came across my journey, bro, that done tried to fight me. And I didn't do nothing. I was just, most of the time, like, I remember, I ain't going to tell you exactly what happened. But I remember one time I was just chilling with this group of guys. And everybody was just doing their own thing, vibing out. I'm just chilling like this. Just chilling. This one guy going to come up to me. Come out. So who you think you is? I'm like, I'm maybe he's talking to somebody behind me. I don't know. Like, he's like, nah, who you think you is? He ain't touch me though. He was like, who you think you is? And I'm just like, I'm like, oh, you mean like, what's my name? He was like, you trying to act funny? I'm like, no, bro, I don't even know you. He was like, what's your name? I was like, I talk, I trend. He was like, well, don't act like that, bro. You get up around here. I'm like. I'm like, bro, you high? I was, I was thinking in my head, I'm like, bro, is you high or something? But see, I didn't even say nothing back too much because I already understood. Source spirit already told me, don't even give in to it because that's a hey, that's an evil spirit. He wanted me to react. He wanted me to do something negative. And who knows what he had on him at the time because I didn't have mine on me or nothing like that. But see, I'm just saying, that's the energy, bro. When you got that type of energy as a chosen one, when you got that type of energy as a chosen one, man, it be people that just can try you. They just want to try you. That's why I say you got to watch your back in a lot of times, man. You got to make, make sure you be straight. You know what I'm saying? Because these people is, they is energy vampires for real. Like they don't, they don't even know why they hate you. It's, they don't, it's, like I said, it's, I know why. It's because the glow. It's because the light. You know what I'm saying? You got the light on you. And you, if you, and you got the light, you know what I'm talking about. It's a light on chosen ones. That it's don't it don't, it don't, it ain't got nothing to do with beauty, it ain't got nothing to do with strength, it ain't got nothing to do with assets and money and cars, it don't got nothing to do with makeup, it don't got nothing to do with BBM, L, B, D, or C, it don't got nothing to do with none of that for the material stuff. That's worldly stuff. All right. This stuff, this stuff is about spirit. It's about emotions. Okay, that's what I'm talking about when I say light. All right, this is about your overall genetic spiritual concept that you have come to the realization with and who you are as a person. That can be seen by people and you don't understand how or why, but that's what people see you up. People can see that spiritually. So if you're a person like a chosen one and you're full of light and you got good energy, you might think that person like attracted to you, but it ain't gonna be attraction for too long. The attraction gonna fall off because they're gonna grow to start to compete with you because they're gonna wanna take some of your swag. They're gonna wanna take some of your intelligence. They're gonna wanna take some of your style. They wanna do it behind closed doors. It's kind of like, I'll give you an example, okay? It's kind of like, it's kind of like, you don't, say you don't found, uh, say you don't found this, this cave, right? Say you like you found this cave and it got like, um, it got like treasures and stuff in there. You know what I'm saying? Like necklaces, watches, and stuff. You and your you and your homeboy found this cave. It got treasure in there. With necklace, watches, it's got new clothes and all that, and this and that. And the third, right? What y'all gonna come up with? You gonna you gonna say to your boy? You gonna say to your boy? Hey man, look, we ain't gonna tell nobody about this, bro. Cause you know if you told everybody about it, everybody gonna take the style and everybody gonna try to come to the cave and try to get what y'all got. So you gonna say? You gonna tell your boy like, nah, man, we ain't gonna let nobody about know about this. And then on top of that, we ain't even gonna wear everything that's in here. We're gonna put on maybe a watch every week, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. Maybe one shirt every week. We're not gonna let them know that we taken from this cave. Because we just wanna keep it that discreet. You understand? We don't wanna go above the radar or we will be exposed. 
That's the same way these these Decepticons feel when they come in contact with you and they start competing with you. It's like they don't want to be your friend, even though they want to be your friend, but they want to be your friend from a distance so they can peep what you're doing and how you're moving so they can take it and they can apply it to themselves and they can be in better position than you. Or at least that's what they think. I don't know why that's going to work, but it ain't going to keep coming and looking then, okay? Because I'm winning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how you got to feel about it because it's like if somebody's taking your whole your whole idea, if somebody's taking the, the way you do your hairstyles or anything, whatever that you do, if somebody's taking your style of playing ball, okay, guess who they're getting it from? They're getting it from the creator. You understand what I'm saying? So it's just going to be a copy. You a photocopy. You a Photoshop. You a duplicate. Okay, so the value goes down. It's like getting a car and then selling it to somebody else over again. The value decreases. But for some strange reason, they think they're getting a brand new car. <laughs> Bots. Somebody comment below, man, if you can relate to what I'm saying. Man, it's your big bro trend, man. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to this video. I hope I kept it real enough for y'all, man. Um, Like I said, this is why chosen ones don't have a lot of friends. This is why it's hard for you to connect with people. It ain't got nothing to do with you. You doing awesome. You look good. You feel good. You got the right intentions. It's just that these people see you as a threat. They see you as competition because they don't want you and they they don't want you around because they think that you got the potential to, to take whatever that they have that they hide. Okay? And it's not even true. They delusional, man. It's your big bro trend, man. With that being said, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace and blessings. Keep God number one and Jesus first in your life. Peace.